Revelation, the closed book open. Hello, welcome back to Midship Ministries. We have been having an exciting time, uh, some exciting time as we continue to study on this book of Revelation. We are still on the subject of the 144,000. This is part five of this subject. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, again we open your words. Again we depend on you, on the presence and power of the Holy Spirit to inspire our thoughts and our minds. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, in our last presentation, we, we discovered, you know, that the Bible actually revealed the exact year that the Messiah would appear. And the sad part of it, it also revealed that the Jews were finally rejected. They sin away their existence as a nation. Let's look at uh, question number 12. What did Jesus say would be taken from the Jews if they rejected him, the cornerstone? In the book of Matthew, chapter 21, and verse, verses 42 to 44, it reads, uh, Matthew, Matthew 21, let me just get there quickly. Matthew 21, verses 42 to 44, and it reads, Jesus said unto them, did he never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. And... Whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. So what did Jesus say would be taken from the Jews if they rejected him? The kingdom of God. Now Jesus plainly taught that the Jews would lose their national status as his denominated people. A new people would be given that status. There are two main reasons for Jewish rejection by God. One, they crucified Christ. And two, they rejected God's commandments and favored their own tradition. Now, let's look at the new people of God. What do Christians inherit? Galatians 3 and verse 28. You know, some time ago, I made a point that the only persons who will be saved are Jews. Here is a passage, Galatians 3, 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for we are all one in Christ. We are all one in Christ. And the passage, the Bible continues to say in verse 29 of Galatians 3, And if he be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed, and here according to the promise. The promise was to Abraham's seed, the father of the Jews. So we are grafted in and we become Israel, spiritual Israel. Now, let's move to the Christians today are not secure in their status with God 
while they willfully disobey him. God treats Christians today the same way he treated the Jews of the Old Testament. And in Revelation, we will see that those who worship and obey the beast will break God's commandment. And if we break God's command, break God's commandment, we are going to find ourselves in the same state that the Jews of the Old Testament found themselves. Now, who are not necessarily Israelites in God's sight? Romans chapter 9 verse 6 says the children of the flesh. Let's look at a survey of New Testament um, theology. The Jews were God's people in Old Testament times. They finally rejected God, causing him to reject them. God chose the Christian church to take their place. We read that there in Galatians. All God promised to the Jews for the last days now applies only to the Christian church. This is the reason for revelation. It tells how these Old Testament prophecies of the end times will be fulfilled now that a different people are involved. It is a new people that will inherit what was originally for the Jewish people now applies to those who have a relationship with Jesus. The true Israel are now and always have been determined by character and not by birth. Let us pray. Father, thank you. Thank you for the constant and continuous revelation of your word. Help that we will understand the real plan of salvation and ensure by your grace that we will inherit the kingdom that you have gone to prepare for us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time, remember, for greater clarity and for additional information, contact your local Seventh-day Adventist Church. God bless you. Thank you.